Standing here on the Mount of Olives affords us the most spectacular view of Jerusalem that you can get from almost anywhere in the city. And it was the same in Jesus's time that approaching Jerusalem from the River Jordan side over the Mount of Olives from here, they would also have seen a spectacular view of the city. But of course it would have been rather different, mainly because in place of what we can see dominating the skyline is the golden dome of the Dome of the Rock. In Jesus's time, the view was dominated by Herod's newly built temple. And this marked the end of Jesus's journey. But it wasn't only about the conclusion, the ending, the final destination. It was about the whole journey, Jesus's ministry. Think of his teaching and healing as he went around Galilee and his other visits to Jerusalem. It culminated in this time arriving here with this view. And it's the same in our own journeys of life. It's the same on a pilgrimage. We may have a final goal in mind on our pilgrimage, and in life we think about our aims, our hopes, our objectives. But it's not only about that. As for Jesus, it's about all those things that happened along the way. We need to focus on the gifts and the graces of every day, whilst also keeping our eye on ultimate goals. And Jesus stopped here and he wept. He wept over the city for lost hopes and opportunities. Perhaps he also wept because he knew that his life was about to reach its great moment of challenge and the events that were about to unfold here. And on this spot, there is a church built to commemorate that moment. And it's called the Church of Dominus Flevit, which in Latin means the Lord wept. And so here, this beautiful church, modern church, or at least built in the 20th century, commemorates Jesus's tears. And it is designed in such a way that the top is to look like a teardrop. So here we stand and we can see the spectacular view of the old city of Jerusalem. It's eastern wall most clearly obvious to us. Behind that the Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque and the skyline is dominated by mosques and churches and synagogues. And right behind the Dome of the Rock you can make out two grey domes of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre which ultimately where Jesus's life came to an end on Golgotha, which is contained within that church, but also his tomb of burial, his tomb of resurrection. So for us, that is the very heart of the city of Jerusalem. And here for us in Jerusalem, we are reminded of that great journey of faith and of our journey of pilgrimage. We are invited to come to this place and to consider our own journey with God. It is a tragedy though that this city which holds so many hopes not only for Christians but for Jews and Muslims too has been a place of great pain. Claire Amos British theologian has said, Jerusalem, the city holy to three religions, which has been loved 
so hateful. And we think as we come towards the end of our own uh, journey through Lent, of our own pilgrimage in life and our journey in, in Lent, and we need to remember that there will also be great joys and perhaps if not terrors, maybe great sadnesses in our life. We will not be protected from those low points. But what Jesus' life, death and resurrection tells us is that wherever we go and whatever befalls us, Jesus Christ goes with us. God is with us. And a pilgrimage here to the Holy Land is that opportunity to walk the walk with Jesus in his footsteps and to be reminded that he walks with us. In Lent, we are asked to go deeply into our own understanding of faith, our own understanding of what it is we seek to focus and to treasure and to cherish and consciously to recommit to those things. We seek to understand better Jesus' own pain and suffering so that our own pain and suffering as well as our great joys are transfigured and transformed in the light of the love of God in Jesus Christ. Luke's Gospel account ends with an actual journey on the road from Emmaus where two disciples, unbeknownst for them, befriend a traveller who turns out to be Jesus, but they only recognise him at the end in the breaking of bread and in the sharing of wine. And so in our life's journey, we need to be aware that moments that we are oblivious to are also the moments of God's presence with us. Wherever our journey takes us, let us remember that Christ walks alongside us. And now I leave you with a view of the Holy City. A chance just to take in those great sites, the churches, the synagogues and the mosques. And on the far right hand side of your picture, you will see the golden onion domes of the Russian Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene.